gonna have to freeze again. That's a lot of resources tied up just to save off that queen for a little bit there, but he is able to get her down and then the super archers can work their way to the base. The king went up ahead there and tried to form the funnel in the next compartment over, was able to clear that out there with the super ball breaker and he was able to get the witches to rejoin. He had another super ball breaker travel all the way into the middle of the base and once he reaches there, he's got a jump spell to go to the backside. Tons of spell support here feels like for the super archers because he still has two more rages and if he can keep the healers enraged here he can nuke out the rest of the base here and the super archers just go crazy in there they do so much damage because they hit all the buildings like bowlers do to the next compartment over but they're a little bit more tanky and they survive just a little bit better so if you can keep the healers raged up and keep the super archers out of too much fire all at once they can do really really well so the RC comes to the top corner. She can start to work her way around the super archers here and start to clean up while they're providing all that tanking in the little bit. It's crazy that they're as tanky as they are, but you really have to keep the healers with them. And the nice part about them is the healers tend to stack the troops with the uh, queen and the warden all together so you end up having everything getting healed at once and it works out super effective so the rc sweeps all the way around the base here the queen breaks out the bottom there the super archers are shooting over walls to go to targets that the queen can't reach so she's kind of walking out without it but a swag rc ability a swag queen ability and a swag freeze how do you have a swag freeze after wasting two to deal with the enemy queen at the start of the attack absolutely crazy